Hey guys, I'm so excited to introduce you the Screamer. The Screamer holds his name because of as soon as you get the kite in the air in your hands and you start going, you're going to start screaming. I mean, I've, I've seen it from lots of people getting the Screamer. The Screamer comes in 7, 9, 12, 14. Uh, there's also a Screamer 10 limited edition, but that is a 10 limited edition. So if you're looking to, for the Screamer 10 limited edition, then it's on the next product under Screamer 10 limited edition. It is a family of Screamer, but it's a different, um, a different kite. It's a pilot for the next generation. So anyway, this is the Screamer, we're under the Screamer product, and this is the Screamer uh, 9 right here, and it comes again, 7, 9, 12, 14. Uh, screamers are for, I'll say for advanced riders, people that know exactly what they want, so when you come to a shop, you're like, I'm looking for a kite, uh, I'm, look, I'm interested in jumping, big hang time, racing, big boards off, big handle passes, floating jumps, I just want to be in the air floating, then the Screamer is your kite of choice. Uh, if you're looking for a kite that does pretty much everything, you know, like a nice jumps, uh, very stable, very launching, teach it, uh, teach your girlfriend, boyfriend, school, you know, uh, surfing and all that, then it's the Renegade. But right now we are under the, the product page of the Screamer, so if you are that person that's looking for big boards off, big handle passes, big hand, you know, just big, it is a Screamer. And the screamer, you know, the name screamer says it all. Um, it's amazing. I mean, you take the screamer seven and nine, you jump, and when you throw a kite loop, oh my gosh, the kite's just gonna throw you in. You're gonna be upside down. And say, oh my gosh, and it just comes back so fast. The landing, you will pass it, but then the landing is soft because the kite comes back to the window. It's 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 incredible. I mean, people do not believe it. They see me out there doing that, and then I just go to the beach and hey, try. It. And they take it and they're like, they go and they're like, oh my gosh, I've been trying to do this with my kite with the other kite and. I'm getting my butt spanked. Well, there you go. The Screamer is incredible. So anyway, if you're that type of rider that's looking for big jumps, big hang times, crazy kite loops, then the Screamer is the kite. Again, when I say advanced riders, uh, yes, 7, 9 is more for advanced because they're very fast. You know, you have to know what you're doing. But the 12 and 14, I mean, even like um, beginners can use it you know it's no problem because they're bigger kite a little bit slower but the 7.9 are really nice and fast I mean so you have to know what you're doing let's talk more about the uh, the kite here you can see uh, the reinforcement on the kite we added uh, for this year we added uh, two um, two centimeters more on the the screamers and that goes to uh, all the other kites also the renegade and the judge uh, we put like a uh, it comes to four centimeters on each side so this will reinforce the uh, the struts. Uh, also make sure when you relaunch a kite, and make sure to pay attention. After every session and you're done and cleaning your kite, make sure, look at your canopy or your leading edge because sometimes you might have a small scratch from probably a shell or your fin, you put the fin upside down and the wind was tapping and rip your, you know, just or you're pumping on the asphalt. So all this will make wear and tear. And if something like that happens on your kite, then the next time you're going to land your kite really hard, the rip might start from there. So just check it, fix it, patch it, so then you're all set. We pay attention to our quality, so you'll see like all our kites have are really nice looking. The quality is amazing. You can see here how we pay attention to. See, all these EVA uh, helps you also uh, protect the strut and the leaning edge also helps you relaunch really fast. I mean, uh, people like they take the uh, screamer and they do something and they crush a the kite and they and relaunch so fast and like, oh my gosh. This guy's relaunched so fast. I'm like, oh, you're looking for a kite that relaunched fast? Yeah, yeah. Well, try the Renegade. So if you think that kite's relaunched really fast, the Renegade is incredible. Uh, same thing with stability. People take this guy and they're like, oh my God, this guy's so stable. I'm like, no, that's not stable. Wait until you try the Renegade. The Renegade's stable. But again, different type of riding you're looking for. And also the Screamers, don't take me wrong. If you want to go in the ocean, use a Screamer in the ocean. It's fine. You know, it's perfect. Uh, you can use it in the ocean. I mean, sometimes I use the kite in the ocean when I don't have my Renegade because someone else took it. But uh, again, Again, me personally, for the wave, the Renegades are the uh, surf kites. Um, the Screamers are more for the free ride, you know, big boards off, big handle pass, big, uh, everything big. Uh, again, this is also the uh, EVA that protects the leaning edge and uh, reinforces the uh, bridle attachment. And then it goes all the way here. Same thing here on the corner. 
So then if the, um, the 12 and 14 doesn't have this, uh, because they're very fast and you don't want to make it smaller, uh, um, less faster, so uh, slower. So, but the 7 and 9 do have a slow and fast setting. So right now it's on very fast. Uh, I know some people that do a lot of wake style, they don't like a, a fast kite. So what they do is they'll remove this and put it here to make the kite slower. And then they'll also use a smaller bar and put on the 45 centimeter bar, you know, instead of the 55 on the inside. And right here also, we have, this is where you put the, um, the pump leash. Okay, you put it here and you close it. Also, people that uh, want to use um, a fifth line, you can use this also here on fifth line. But all our kites don't use a fifth line. All our bars are four line. You don't need a fifth line. Fifth line are usually kites that cannot hold the structure. And without a fifth line, they start gelling fish or to relaunch the kite. We don't need that. Those kites are hard rock. You know, I mean, they're, they're just rock solid. And also, they relaunch really fast. So you don't need a fifth line. But hey, if you have a bar, you buy a, this kite. Uh, with that bar and you want to use your own bar, personal bar, yeah, you need to trim it a little bit, but then of course you can use a fifth line, but you don't need to. So again, let's go on the inside of the kite. Okay, here you'll see that you have, um, this is the one pound system. Um, what we did is for the clip here, we, we did uh, put a, a neoprene to protect it. Uh, that was because of the demand we had. And also we've been uh, working on the uh, deflate and inflate valve. We've been working on the twist on, but I've been having a lot of problems uh, with those. So I don't want to use them until we perfected. Uh, so the old fashioned way is always the best. It works very good. You know, if something happens, you always have it. You know, uh, if the twist on doesn't work or you lose it or the sand and thing, you know, it's all, a lot of problems can happen. So the old fashioned way is always the best, you know, inflate and deflate. Um, also here you can see that for 2011 we had a zip tie but for this year we're using an o-ring so if you want to remove the one pump all you have to do is slide the o-ring away and then it'll come off. Uh, also I like to pump my kites really hard right now it's pumped to 11.5 psi it's really hard rock solid you know uh, I love this this is the best performance of the kite but what I do is if I do that I will remove the elastic the elastic is a security so it doesn't pop out uh, and the reason I remove it is because if I land my kite two times so hard I don't want it to explode, okay? I want the wind to come out of the valve. Uh, I'd rather pop my kite again than go and fix the kite. So um, beginners, teachers, you know, whoever wants to get the kite, my suggestion is if you pump it really hard, don't put this elastic. I mean, you can leave one elastic out, but not both of them, okay? But you don't need to pump it to 11.5 PSI. You can pump to 9 PSI, that'd be fine. And then if you pump it that much, you don't need it to, uh, you just put the elastic on. But if you pump it really hard, then you're gonna need it to, so it releases after, you know, a lot of bunch of, uh, of uh, knocking the, the kite on the water. So again, uh, this is the, this. Uh, this um, the screamers, you don't need the, if you want to change the, um, the bladder on the struts, you don't need, you don't have a zipper because if you go all the way up there, you see how nice it gets and how thick it is. So you can move, you can remove um, the, um, the bladders from uh, this end, like a normal fashion way. Uh, now the question is why, a lot of people ask me, why is it, why does it have this shape? Well, this happens when you get a lot of Viagra. Just kidding. <laughs> so I get, no, I'm not sponsored by Viagra. I don't need it. Anyway, um, the reason we did this, uh, the cone, is because um, when when you're doing when you're kiting and the wind is blowing on on the canopy, uh, usually when you have a normal thin you know uh, strut at the end here, it will when you do something really aggressive the trailing edge will flutter because it's very, you know, thin. But by doing this here, it's, look, it's not even moving. I'm pushing, see? It's not moving. It will bend here, you see? So it doesn't need it. So what does this do? It, it keeps the trailing edge really stiff, okay? So the pivots, the turn, especially on the kite loose, when you do those big kite loops, it just doesn't lose any power. Because when you're up there, you want that kite to come back immediately up at 12 o'clock, okay? So it can't, you know, so this helps you like not lose any wind out of the trailing edge. Um, again, you'll see here how good we pay attention to the, uh, to our quality. So it's sewn like, uh, it's folded three times and over and then sewn back together. So it's very, very strong. Again, same thing. And you'll see that uh, the uh, screamers uh, have five struts compared to the uh, uh, renegade that has uh, three struts. And here, it's very easy. You have the bridle set. 
it's very easy you know we're using a ring because i do believe in the ring uh we work also on the pulley but few pulleys that we had you know they wear and tear very fast the ring will never wear and tear it's very easy and it's fourth line very easy cook proof and color, uh, color proof too so this this is where all your gray lines comes from the bar hook it here and then your left line will go right here hook right here and then you're all set and then the right side will go on the blue side you know on the right side so the, the color coordinated very easy um, and of course you can make other knots if you want but the way it is it's perfect trim for uh, the kite to fly so because I love the kite to come out of the bag you put up in the air and it's perfect sitting there that's why I love you know I want a kite to come out of the bag perfectly trimmed ready to go so again if you're a kite that's looking for uh, you know a if your kite is looking like to scream up in the air, <laughs> then the screamer is a kite. If you're looking for big jumps, big uh, handle pass, big boards off, big, just, just big, then the screamer is your kite of choice. Uh, also, uh, um, I want to show you something on the bag here. On all the kites uh, for this year, we added another bag inside. It's a waterproof bag, but also it has a mesh. So you can pump your kite. If you don't want to deflate your struts, you just leave your struts, roll it, and it comes in. But then you can also you know zip this in and you zip it and everything goes back to a small bag so this bag comes with uh, the kite inside the bag and you're all set so anyway this is the new bag also the bar goes inside well anyway hope to see you on the next page uh, but uh, come and check the um, the product the uh, boards product uh, under uh, boards and check the twin tips and surfboards so I'll see you there generation what do you think I like it sir got quite fast and it's got plenty of hang time I like it it's, it's taking some getting used to it for me so you like uh, how much power the pull the speed the turning the I hang do time? I do I do it turns quite quiet and how much uh, is it blowing right now I mean I know the wind has dropped so how much you think it's blowing right now I would say 18 15 to 18 right yeah now. That's what I think too. And yeah. we're on a 12, so it's yes. perfect. Yeah, and it's a pretty small board, so so far so good. I like it. Very good. The more I fly it, the more I like it, honestly. Yeah. Thank you. You're really good guy, man. It's quite surprised me. Very fast kite. I was very surprised from the lift and then time in the... Yeah, I love it, man. Good. Everybody should try. <laughs> yeah. Perfect, thank you. Thank, thank you.